This is the story of the Snow Queen. Once upon a time in a faraway kingdom, there lived a moody young princess named Elle. Elle was a bit hot-tempered, which was ironic because she had the ability to shoot ice and snow out of every orifice on her body. And I mean all of them. Elle went to go tell her sister Anne to turn down her Kesha record, and that's when all hell broke loose. Elle's temper flared up, and boom! She farted her sister into a third-degree frostbite. So her parents took the squabbling sisters to see the local troll. I don't know why you're coming to me, said the troll. I'm not a child psychologist. Look, said the king, just use your special troll powers to make sure Anne forgets this ever happened. There's no tactful way to explain to her that her sister shat her stupid with butthole ice. So the troll does his troll thing and everyone goes home. A little while later, Anne hooked up with this smoking hot duke dude she found on Tinder and was in love with him after like 30 seconds. You've known this guy for like two f***ing minutes, said Elle, her blood pressure rising to bacon cronut levels. Doesn't matter, said Anne. We're still getting married and you're just totes jelly. Well, as you can guess, Elle's repressed powers went haywire and froze the entire kingdom. Mortified, Elle ran into the tundra and went into hiding, as Anne was left to apologize for all the property damage. Even though their wedding date was looming and they had already put down a non-refundable deposit on the DJ, Anne told the Duke to chill. Get it? Chill? While she went off to look for her crazy ice-chucking sister. Yo sis, Anne said. I'm pretty sure if you come back to town, I'll be forgiven. Besides, all the people who died were filthy peasants and undocumented migrant workers. Elle simply replied, F you, and blasted her sister once again, trapping her inside of an ice cube. Oh shit, said Elle, realizing she had gone too far. So she put her sister on the back of a snowcat and went to go see the troll. Once again, said the troll, I cannot stress this enough. I am not a medical professional. Besides, your sister's got a frozen heart, otter pop armpits, and a vagina icier than an NHL regulation hockey puck. Only an act of true love can save her. Oh, you mean like that time I used my hand on all those boys in geometry class? Not exactly, said the troll, but call me. So Elle took the ansicle to the Duke, who she thought was her sister's true love. But plot twist, the Duke really just wanted to marry her so he could bang her, kill her, and steal the kingdom. One hopes in that order. So just as the Duke is about to kill Anne, Elle jumps out and, I don't know, I guess sisterly devotion is more powerful than chainsaws. Look, the point is, the Duke is dead, Anne thaws out, and Elle is still alive too, I guess. So yay! So both sisters were cool with each other again, and both married some really rad, if slightly overweight, troll gentlemen. Although Anne's vagina never did quite get back to room temperature. Oh well, win some, lose some. Come back next time and I'll tell you the story of the witch who was lactose intolerant.